Welcome to my channel. Today, an art journal tutorial, and we are going to address the matter of size using small scale images on larger pages. I'm working on a 9 by 12 Cansa mixed media page, and I'm applying colors that are next to each other on the color wheel bright aqua, turquoise, cobalt blue. Now the reason that I've chosen these colors and I'm applying it block wet on wet is because I know my focal image has red in it. And if you look at the color wheel, across from the red orange is the blue green. So I'm aware of my what my focal image is going to be and I want to make a background that is going to make it stand out. I'm using this with a slightly dampened makeup sponge. My page has not been gessoed. So once that's dried, I am going to apply stenciling and I'm only going to use this one stencil. And what I'm going to use are some of the same colors or tones that I've already have in the background. So here I'm using the cobalt blue and I'm just moving around the page. Using one stencil and layering it up on a background is a great and easy way. Don't be tempted to throw too many patterns at your page. Sometimes less is more. Another trick, stencil off the page. That takes your eye off the page and makes a more pleasing composition. I'm not worried about getting these all perfectly opaque. I like the variation. I'm not even worried about getting perfect stenciling for this. Now I'm going to also add some contrast by adding white, and a dark blue, specifically Prussian blue. And again, I'm layering this up over top of the stenciling that I already have. What I want is a background that looks like the snow is falling. Now you could do the same thing with an evergreen bow. That would work for my particular project and I did consider it but you could follow the same techniques here to create a background using whatever stencil or theme that you are working on. I'm obviously going winter here. Now I'm going to add a small snowflake in my darkest color. And I've chosen the smaller size specifically because it's the darkest. And I don't want the whole page to get dark. So I'm just strategically using just that one snowflake. This stencil is called Flurries and it is from the Crafters Workshop. My only problem with it, I wish I had the six inch one as well. That would give me a lot more variation. Some of the snowflakes I find are a little bit big, but I've accommodated for the size of them by layering them up. Please take the time to subscribe for my channel. Be sure to click on the bell and select the option of being notified of upcoming videos. This will help me grow my channel. Loving the background, but I want, there is some yellow in my focal image and you'll notice the yellow is across from those blues and teals. So I'm adding it to my background with this small scale star stamp. If you don't have a stamp this way, you can use a stencil or some other smaller scale. I just want to add a little bit of detail with that color into my background. Again, I'm working with my focal image. Now, if you don't know what your focal image is and then you decide later, you can always go back and add those colors to it. So this napkin is called Santa's Look and I love the little animated Santas in it but they're very small. 
So here's the recommendation. Take off the plies, glue it down onto copy paper. I used Fluid Matte Medium from Liquitex. I glued this down and I had it at the ready and then I fussy cut in front of the TV all these little Santas. Now you'll agree they would really get lost on a 9 by 12 page. So we want to beef it up in a certain way. I can use it for an ATC. So what I found is this film strip printable. I think it comes from supercoloring.com. But you can just do a search for film strip printables. I printed it off. I blew it up with my printer settings. And then I'm just going to paint it black. I want that high contrast on the page. And it's my focal image. I want this to really stand out. And I'm sure you figured out that I'm going to input the Santa into the film strip. This way, my small scale images take on weight and can be used on a larger page. So if you've got small stamps, small images from napkins or rice papers, this is a great way of adding bulk to it, combining it with something else that you already have. Don't get me wrong, I'll be using those Santas on composition books, on ATZs, or on gift tags. I'm just cutting off the excess and cleaning up the edge by doing this. This way I didn't have to be so picky when I painted. And you can see how lovely, how wonderful that dark black, that contrast is from the page. I just want to see how my little Santas work. And you can see the yellow that's in there and how that ties in with the yellow that I put into the background. I chose not to leave the film strip white the background of the pictures so I am applying a bit of turquoise mixed with white gesso to the background and then I'll put my Santas on top of this background. This matches the snowflake background that I have. Remember you want all the elements of your page to work together. Once that's done and dry, I'm gluing it down with my gel matte medium. And I'm putting a layer on top and I'm putting a layer underneath. And once that's dry, I'm going to cut off the excess. Again, I made it, my focal image, run right off the page. Now I'm doing a little bit of shading, and this is part of the finishing act. And I'm doing this now before I glue the Santas on, because that would just make it more difficult. And I like things easier. So here I'm using the uh, Prussian blue and in a minute I'm going to edge around the film strip on the outside of the film strip and the page using the same shading technique but with black acrylic paint. Again I'm tying it in with the black that's on the film strip, the black that's going to be on the sentiment. Notice as I add this shading how it makes the film strip, the focal image, stand out from the background. And here I'm edging the page.
You'll notice that I didn't put the film strip in the center. I offset it. I used a bold font and I found the saying, every picture tells a story. Can you think of a different sentiment to use? And you can see how those small scale images work on this larger page. So if you have small stamped images that you want to colorize and then use or images on a, from a napkin like I've done or a rice paper, all of those would work really well. I also plan on using some of these Santas to make Christmas gift tags. They're the perfect size. Before I glue the sentiment down, I want to put some of that red into the background. It's on my Santa and I want to introduce that color. So I'm going to use some splattering and I'm targeting the snowflake area, not the film strip. You can put a piece of paper over top of what you don't want to splatter. Now I apologize for the smaller picture here. Something went on my setting on my phone, but you can see the steps. I'm simply gluing down the sentiment. And having larger scale and bolder uh, lettering here really pushes back more of that background. I wanted to bring out the focal image a little bit more, so now I grab my woodless charcoal pencil and I'm just running it along and smudging it. I think this really adds to the page and I'm putting it in, beside, in between the um, where the Santas are. The reason I wouldn't have done this earlier is because I was going to put wet glue. I had to glue those Santas down and if I put the matte medium on top of the charcoal is going to reactivate the charcoal. But I like this smudge look. I think it adds to it and I go around the edge of the page as well just to darken it up. It just seemed to need a little bit more contrast than what I had. So this brings us to the end of this art journal tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you give using small scale images on a larger scale page a trick by boosting it up. Until next time, go get creative.